here comes the fall guy and here comes the fall guy tom hanks is forest gump chris pratt is garfield kingdom of the planets of the apes and the kingdom of the planets of the ores The Garfield movie is exploiting a system of Hollywood which is directly or indirectly giving a huge huge benefit to this latest and cute animated project. What and how the Garfield movie is doing a very clever marketing? Let's find out. On one hand, companies like Universal, Marvel and Disney are busy in releasing their back-to-back -back short teasers, promos and banners after spending hours and hours of work. Sony Pictures is simply using their themes and styles to promote its own movie. Yes, I'm talking about their posters. Look at the poster of Deadpool and Wolverine. Cool, isn't it? And now take a look at the poster of the Garfield movie. It is not the first time when a company or a studio is performing a similar activity, but this time Sony is simply using the trends of social media and the popularity of other big characters to promote itself. Now here comes our new Superman and here comes our Garfield. Ryan Reynolds is bringing us a movie called If. Meanwhile, here comes another If. Did somebody said Dune 2? Well, here comes another Garfield project. I don't know how these animation companies can use the exact same themes without even worrying about the copyright issues but if you knows how these things work then let me know in the comments below. Well, long story short, it is kinda clever and a very hilarious type of marketing that Sony is doing right now. The company can easily hop from one trend to another without even worrying about the consequences of copyrights. Funny thing is, they'll do everything but will never ever make a Spider-Man 4. Anyways, which poster did you like the most? Comment below and make sure to hit the subscribe button for more cool content. Till then, thanks for watching. Stay safe. Peace out.